Hello guys, Tom here. Uh, doing my first tutorial video, so I'm sorry if I go fast or too slow, but I'm gonna try to outline everything quickly and concisely so people can get to what they want to do. So, this is for people who have digital clocks. Uh, they made them in 1.25 or earlier and found that they do not work in 1.3.1. And mostly your problem is with the pulse generator right here. So if you have the same pulse generator as this or, you know, very similar to it, you have obviously noticed that it does not work anymore. And it's just a very, very subtle change that makes this not uh, work anymore. I'll kind of just show, you know, your pistons are, um, they're working hard for you. They look like they should be working, but I have put a ring in here of, of data, of memory array. Um, there's the appropriate corners are out and it's just not moving it. And what is happening, and I don't know mathematically exactly what's happening, but it's like two tenths of a second, maybe a tenth of a second, where this uh, this piston is up, so the, this piston cannot push these blocks forward. And that's just a subtle little change that affects this particular pulse generator uh, specifically. And all you have to do to combat that is actually quite simple. So. You're basically going to take this, and as you might have saw from my sloppy just camera work, you're going to put it back here. And this isn't a specific number away. You just want to be far enough away, far enough away that you can um, connect what I'm about to show you. So I'm just going to clear this out, you know, very quickly, hopefully. And this is probably the biggest problem right here. You actually need to move the line away, and so you want to have at least one away so they can. You know, not have crosstalk happening. So, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna place a block, any block, and then any block. I don't want to run into my own line here, but it can be literally anywhere along that line as long as it still works there. So, after that, you're gonna want to put a sticky piston uh, one block away on either side of these. This does not matter that they're not equal, but if you are, you know, a little bit of a uh, um, OCD symmetrical needing person that's what you're gonna be and to replace that repeater which you do need for timing you're gonna want to just slap that one right here and this one also needs one as well but that does add an extra tick so to avoid the crosstalk we'll just drop it down here and that'll be just the same okay and from from this from your new pulse generator you just do exactly what you think you do you just line it up here push it together and then from this one since you don't want to have the same thing happening over here and you don't want to add any more ticks you come off to the side and you hook these up just like this and to show you guys again you just want to hook both of them together and have it running along from either redstone torch with the repeater on the front side still set to one still giving you the same amount of ticks that you had and so we'll just put it into action we'll show you guys what's going on here Okay, see? If you want to show... I should get on the other side of this. If you want to show that, it's working just fine now. It has the same exact delay. Sorry if these pistons are really loud. Uh, <laughs> it's the same exact delay as your old timer. It just... Um, it combats the, the two-tenths to one-tenth uh, delay they put on it by allowing the pistons to hit like that. And so... Very simply put, once I load my numbers back up here, I'll cut back to it in a second for proof that it works, showing this exact same setup. So give me just one second once I uh, break this block. I am <laughs> ultimate failure there. Okay. So just give me one second and I'll cut back to this. But um, yeah, that's just all it needs to do is just these little tiny little changes that alternate the current. It's very simple. And I, hadn't, I had not seen a tutorial on YouTube. So I wanted to put up my own. So here we go. All right, guys, I'm all filled back in. Took me a second. I couldn't remember exactly how I uh, had wired up the beginning here. But uh, let's see here. We are on, well, technically 43. So three is the main important key there. Uh, do you want to show this once more? This is the, the reason you'd watch this video is just see that you have the sticky piston, any block that uh, can, you know, see current go through it 
Siggy Piston, the block, and they're both wired up to the corresponding ones here. Uh, let me just set the time back to daylight really fast. I just forgot everything about this game apparently, but okay, back to light and seems to be working good. Same one, two, three, perfect, okay. Watching this, so six. I'll give it a good, you know, 10 seconds or so to flip. All right, yeah. And that's how you fix it. You just wanna add that little tiny, just super small um, change to your gigantic clock and it'll be working like the day you made it. So uh, thanks for watching and um, yeah, take it easy. Be safe guys.